for our entrance hymn we sing enter the house of the lord enter the house of the lord our god enter the house of the lord Sing of our God who reigns above, sing of his everlasting love, sing of his goodness all our days, come be of one accord. Lift up your voices, sing his praise as we enter the house of the Lord. Thanksgiving Mass offered by a parishioner for favours received. For the intentions of the Phillips family and those who recovered from COVID. Seventh day Mass for Dr. Marionette Pereira. Month Spine Mass for Sonia Robert Vardhan. First death anniversary of Wilma Cardoz. For the souls of Basil Mervyn Gomez, Asis Leos Cotino, Joe Dias, Derek Vaz, Teresa D'Souza, Alfred and Sarah Fernandez, Brother Magella, Matilda Rob Lobo, Varuni and Rosa Vendokaran, Sister Mary Agnes, Lino Pimenta, Father Tony Cardoso, Francis D'Souza and departed members of his family, O'Neill De Costa, Manuel Ferns, Redus Pereira, Rahul Brito, Sonia Dikuna, R.K. Swami, Julie D'Souza, Edwin Fernandez, Romaldina Pinto, Teresiama Thomas, Dominic and Evelyn D'Souza, and for the souls in purgatory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brethren, let's acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in, and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, I wish you would bear with me in a little foolishness. Do bear with me, for I feel a divine jealousy for you, since I betrothed you to one husband, to present you as a pure virgin to Christ. But I am afraid that, as the serpent deceived Eve by his cunning, 
your thoughts will be led astray from a sincere and pure devotion to Christ. For if someone comes and proclaims another Jesus than the one we proclaimed, or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received, or if you accept a different gospel from the one you accepted, you put up with it readily enough. Indeed, I consider that I am not in the least inferior to these super apostles. Even if I am unskilled in speaking, I am not so in knowledge. Indeed, in every way, we have made this plain to you in all things. Or did I commit a sin in humbling myself so that you might be exalted? because I preached God's gospel to you free of charge? I robbed other churches by accepting support from them in order to serve you. And when I was with you and was in need, I did not burden anyone, for the brothers who came from Macedonia supplied my need. So I refrained and will refrain from burdening you in any way. As the truth of Christ is in me, this boasting of mine will not be silenced in the regions of Achaia. And why? Because I do not love you? God knows I do. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response shall be, the Lord's handiwork is justice and truth. The Lord's handiwork is justice and truth. I will praise the Lord with all my heart in the meeting of the just and the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord to be pondered by all who delight in them. The Lord's handiwork is justice and truth. Majestic and glorious his work. His justice stands firm forever. He has given us a memorial of His wonders. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord's handiwork is justice and truth. His handiwork is justice and truth. His precepts are all of them sure, standing firm forever and ever, wrought in uprightness and truth. The Lord's handiwork is justice and truth. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Praise ye the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Praise ye the Lord. You have received the spirit of adoption as sons by whom we cry, Abba, Father. Praise ye the Lord, alleluia. Praise ye the Lord, alleluia. Praise ye the Lord, alleluia. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. All glory be to thee, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, When you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do. For they think that they will be heard for their many words. Do not be like them. For your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then like this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive you your trespasses. 
the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ these days we have been hearing from the gospel of matthew from the sermon of on the mount from jesus where he speaks about different aspects of life a disciple is supposed to follow as he follows the his master jesus and we see jesus had spoken yesterday in yesterday's gospel about the three important virtues or important parts of jewish spirituality which was prayer fasting and alms giving and how one should practice these virtues in one's daily life and today we jesus goes further and we have the continuation of yesterday's gospel after asking the disciples to pray now jesus is teaching them how to pray first jesus begins with giving them a warning what they are not supposed to do they are not to heap up empty words like the gentiles because the gentiles would always think they always thought that because of their words they would be heard the more the words the lord would hear fast their prayers jesus tells his disciples do not heap up empty or meaningless words it is not the words that matter but it it is your attitude and your disposition because the father already knows what you need even before you ask him so why then do we have to pray it is because to show our humility before god to say that we are dependent on god and that we need his grace and mercy in our everyday lives and that is the reason we humble ourselves and come into his presence and present him all our petitions needs and thanksgivings and then jesus begins the prayer the our father the our father is more of a challenge to be lived in our everyday lives it is not just a vocal formula to be recited every day but it is a way of life that jesus offers us there are two parts in it first one praises and thanks god for the all that he is and then second is where we present our needs to him as i say every statement in the prayer the our father is a challenge for us to live let's take an example we call god as our father we don't say my father and our father means that we value equality among all the people we say that everyone is my brother and sister so if we are differentiating between people if we are biased among the people based on their color creed religion or any other matter then we are going against the first statement that we are making from the prayer the our father also the other parts of the prayer of our father is a challenge for us to live every day what we pray because our society in which we live most of the values are contradictory to the prayer of our father it's very difficult for us to forgive it's very difficult for us to make sure that the kingdom of god or the will of god takes place in this earth but if as true disciples of christ we are praying this prayer of our father let us ask his grace today to live it in our daily lives not only heaping up empty words but doing it in action what we pray let's pray for that grace during this eucharist amen for offertory we sing father take the gifts father take the gifts we bring listen to the prayer we sing sanctify our sacrifice from heaven above draw us close to you we pray by the bread we give this day may we live this great mystery of love take this bread and take this wine offered here oh lord divine take our hearts and make them yours oh lord we pray 
Make our faith and hope increase Let our charity bring peace So that we may spread your love along the way Pray brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to, to God the Almighty Father May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here, provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament. Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, earth and heaven sing Hosanna in your praise. He is blessed who comes in the name of the Lord. Sing Hosanna in the highest Praise the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Oswald our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At 
the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray for relief from coronavirus. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence, we come before your picture to beseech your intercession. We think of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony. But your joy was great when you rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of Sorrows, pray for us in this time of trial. Help us not to lose heart. Intercede for your people who are afflicted with coronavirus. Comfort your people who are vulnerable and anxious. Protect healthcare workers who put their lives at risk. Inspire our leaders to make good decisions. Change our hearts so that we may act responsibly. Teach us to trust in God's love and mercy and to share with you the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Mother of perpetual help, pray, pray for, for us. us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. For our recessional hymn, we sing, We Stand for God. We stand for God 
and for his glory the lord supreme man god of all against his foes we raise the standard around the cross we are his call strength in our faith redeemer guard us when danger is nigh to thee we pledge our lives and service strong in a trust that ne'er shall die to thee we pledge our lives and service strong in a trust that ne'er shall die